Behold, now is the acceptable time. Now Now is is the the day day of salvation. salvation. Turn us again, O God of our salvation, that that the light light of your your face face may shine on us. May your justice shine like the sun, and may may the the poor poor be lifted lifted up. up. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is is right right to to give give our thanks thanks and praise. praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you called light into being, and you set light in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day, and a pillar of fire by night, You led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, for you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My My help help comes from from the the Lord, Lord, the the maker of heaven and earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved, nor will the one who watches over you fall asleep. Behold, the the keeper keeper of Israel Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The The sun sun will will not strike strike you by day, day, nor the the moon moon by night. The Lord will preserve you from all evil and will keep your life. The Lord Lord will will watch watch over over your your going going out and your your coming in from from this time forth forevermore. To you before the 
Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord under Eli. The word of the Lord was rare in those days. Visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel, Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli, and said, Here I am, for you called me. But Eli said, I did not call. Lie down again. So he went and lay down. The Lord called again, Samuel, Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call, my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. The Lord called Samuel again a third time, and he got up and went to Eli and said, here I am, for you called for me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore Eli said to Samuel, Go, lie down, and if he calls you, you shall say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But, but in, in these, these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. Well, this evening concludes our Lenten Wednesday practice of singing Vespers together in our homes. And that means we have our last spiritual discipline that we're focusing on. This week we hear about prayer. And we hear about it from Nancy Pittard, uh, who so graciously facilitates the prayer partner's email chain uh, that we share as a congregation. 
And so now we invite you to listen and ponder as Nancy shares with us. Welcome. Prayer is one of the most meaningful gifts given to us by God. Through prayer, we seek higher counsel in our time of trouble or confusion. We gather insight for a specific situation. Prayer reinforces our faith and helps us to personally connect with God. It is the way we give to God the highest glory and adoration that our human spirit is capable of. My spiritual discipline of praying deepens my connection with God and it grows through intercessory prayer. Jesus does it on our behalf and he shows us how to intercede for others. It is also a display of love, which is a great reason to pray for others. It takes trust to confide in a person and allow them to pray on your behalf. It can form a deep relationship with the people, allowing them to share a burden or a problem. Sharing can lighten their load and lift them up. We grow together as believers as we witness God's answered prayers or to comfort and support those in need. God loves when Christians pray together in solemn commitment. He will always listen and be present. The connection with others impacts God in a profound way. He can read the heart of those who pray together and for the same purpose. Intercessory prayer includes people close to us and people across the world in need. It is a powerful image to think of hundreds of people praying for earthquake victims or our whole church praying for one member. God hears these prayers. He also gives us new perspective to our problems in our own personal prayer requests. I have dedicated prayer time in the mornings and the evenings, but I also value the instant prayers I send up to God after the thought of someone pops into my brain. At all times of the day, I am inspired by other people, and this is the best time to give God the glory and thank Him and ask Him to watch over a person that we are concerned about or are encouraging. Prayer has many benefits for us. It is important to have a relationship with God. It is inspirational, centering, it lowers your blood pressure, and so much more. It is a privilege. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow must have felt inspired by his relationship with God when he wrote this poem. Let us then labor for an inward stillness, that perfect silence where the lips and heart are still, and we no longer entertain our own imperfect thoughts and vain opinions, but God alone speaks in us and we wait. In singleness of heart that we may know his will and in the silence of our spirits, that we may do his will and do that only. Prayer is a place we go to meditate and listen to God. We meditate with him and we listen to him. Thank you.
Peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For all servants of the church, gathered near and far, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, Rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To, to you, O Lord. Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Go tonight and always in God's peace.